Uh, my name is Kurt Winans, uh, local here in the Reno area, uh, introducing my newest book, which is uh, Pilgrimage, uh, science fiction. I'm very proud of that. And uh, as far as about myself, uh, I'm educated here at the University of Nevada. Spent most of my life here in the either Reno or Lake Tahoe area, and enjoy it very much. All right. So uh, you've written a number of novels before. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what uh, got you into writing originally? Certainly. When I first went to the university, I was involved in journalism. And I, I had always enjoyed writing and had been part of the school paper in high school, things like that. But then, as I started to get the opportunity to travel to various parts of the world, I would keep journals of where I was and what we did. That's what got me into the writing thing. And then, eventually, my wife said, you know, you should probably try to turn these into some books. <laughs> So, uh, Pilgrimage is your first sci-fi novel, um, so why sci-fi and why now? Well, some of my earlier works were trying to get my feet wet, trying to figure out how to go through the whole process of writing books, and a lot of that was based on adventures of my life. I decided to go to the sci-fi because it gave me a little more latitude in the writing, but it would also be not quite as dull as my own experiences. Okay. So uh, the main character of Pilgrimage is Ross Martin. Can you tell me a little bit about him? Certainly. He's a uh, young man at the beginning of the story who has gone through some challenging experiences, even at a young age. And what we do with Ross throughout the book is to show his maturity as a person and as a leader, his loyalty towards others, and uh, go through the adventures that uh, take him through life, whether they be uh, uh, triumphs or tragedies. All right. And the other characters, uh, the other main characters in the story are Ross's sister, Jessica, and his best friend, uh, future wife, Patty. Uh, what sort of roles do they play in the story? Well, they're significant in the fact that uh, his sister is one of his confidants throughout his whole life. Uh, Jessica plays a major role in shaping how he goes through the remainder of his life. And she's there as a trusted constant and, and helps him through things. And then, of course, Patty, who's the best friend as a growing up as a kid, ends up becoming the soulmate, somebody that he marries. All right, and uh, one of the interesting things I notice in the stories, you pepper in historical facts as we go through Ross's life. Uh, can you tell me a little bit on why you did that? Well, I wanted to help ground the reader in the sense that within this book, every place that is mentioned and those historical references that you're referring to are factual. If I say that the name of the town is Rumley and it's in Central Texas, that does exist. I wanted to give the readers something that they could ground themselves to. Some of my older readers will remember some of those historical references of where they were and what they were doing during their life. While some of the younger readers may take that as an opportunity to try to learn more about those events. All right, and uh, what other kinds of stories helped you uh, write Pilgrimage? What inspired you, in other words? Well. I've always liked science fiction, and I believe that it gives us an opportunity to expand outside of the proverbial box. It makes us want to explore new things, challenge ourselves. So when it came to pilgrimage, it was how can I wrap in all these fi all these factional, factual, historical things, and also put an entertaining story around it. And who would you say is the audience for pilgrimage? Well, that's varied. So far, I've received good comments from young adults, teenagers that have been reading it, all the way up to senior citizens who, as I said, can remember some of the historical things. So I didn't want to target one specific audience. I'm glad to hear that many different genres are interested in it. So. Awesome. And is there any last comments, any other items that you did want to mention about Pilgrimage uh, before we finish? It's a quick read. One of the things that I wanted to set up was with short chapters, you can be reading along, let's say, uh, right before you go to bed, and you might come to the end of a chapter and say, ooh, I want to know what happens next, and you can flip ahead and see, okay, it's only five or six more pages, I'll do it. So it, it's not something where you need to necessarily set aside, I need a certain block of time to do this. It's easy to pick up.